Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making the Bronx Cocktail. Um, the origination behind this cocktail, one of the theories is um, it was named after the Bronx Zoo after um, a gentleman had uh, imbibed one too many cocktails and all the strange animals he saw at the Bronx Zoo. So that's one of the theories how this cocktail got its name. Um, one of the things about it too, it's one of the first cocktails and one of the first and one of the ingredients I'm using is orange juice. Um, not a lot of cocktails during this time, uh, during the classic cocktail period, used orange juice, and this is one of the first ones. Um, a lot of the other cocktails would use lemon or lime juice as a citrus component, uh, and this is one of the first, as I say, to use orange juice. And it's a bar spoon of that. Another orange component is going to be several dashes of orange bitters. Next is going to be a French vermouth using Golan. It's going to be an ounce of that. An ounce of Italian vermouth. botanicals off the vermouths play really well into the orange juice, drawing out that citrus um, aroma, creating a nice bouquet. And bringing into it, adding more botanicals is our gin. In this case, I'm using Plymouth, one of my favorites. going on here. Um, Plymouth is kind of a more feminine style, London Dry. Um, being the fact that the, the, the juniper is not too prominent throughout, um, you're going you're gonna to of course taste the juniper. It's not going to be as powerful as say it's like a Tangray or a Bombay, um, but it's going to add some nice uh, botanical flavors to this and it can make for quite a delicious cocktail. It can be served in a cocktail glass. And as always, these cocktails are served ultra cold. Garnish on this is going to be an orange peel. Thus, rounding out the orange bouquet on this cocktail, coming through ever so nicely. And there you have it, the Bronx cocktail. Very nice.